Hey, uh, Patrick, how's it going? Good, man. How are you? Uh, so I thought I would get on here. I'm, I'm always looking to create a little content for our uh, kind of our social media, Facebook, Instagram, et cetera, et cetera. So I thought it'd be fun. Patrick just moved to Georgia uh, from Chicago. That's right. And uh, thought it would be cool to get on here and kind of hear his, some of his experiences and, and kind of what he's been through and how kind of we met. Yeah. Um, or he was cast in his first feature, my first feature as well. Yeah. Um, so let's dive in on that. So Patrick, tell me a little bit about kind of your background in acting. I wanted to be an actor slash movie star. I don't know. I don't know. At that age, I'm not sure what it was. When I saw Home Alone at the age of nine. So it's been a long time that I've been interested in acting. And I was actually acting since then. Uh, right after high school, um, I... Uh, became a professional model, was flying to New York and Europe, doing high fashion print and runway, uh, and then moved to LA, did some commercials, more print, uh, stuff like that, short films, um, moved back to Illinois, uh, met you at uh, when I was completing my degree at a uh, university, and you showed me a, uh, um, a sizzle reel of Heaven Quest, and I remember thinking, I want this part very bad. It looks exactly like what I like. It's period. It's uh, faith-based. It's great. And um, uh, and then I think I told you, I think my chances are one in a million, but I really want this role. And then um, I kept doing local work in Chicago. I did some theater, uh, stuff like that. Um, and eventually the opportunity came. I got off a shift at Starbucks. <laughs> I worked my day job. Right. And uh, you called me and we're like, hey, you know, what's, how about we do like a preliminary version of like a two week shoot, small crew, you yeah. know what I mean? Something like that. And that blew up into, uh, into what Heaven Quest became. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's our nutshell journey. Just yeah. as a disclaimer, I care significantly less about being a movie star now than I did as a cool. I just want to clarify that. Yeah, yeah. No, I've I had a really big journey as an actor and a man and, uh, yeah, Thank God, I care less about that stuff. With with age comes wisdom, I guess, and you've been through. Guess, you've had yeah. some cool. You've had some cool experiences. I mean, definitely had some professional level experiences. Um, and you know, even when you post your modeling pictures on on uh, on social media, it's like it's a blast to see that stuff because like you really like had such a cool look for that. I mean, they, I, I I can see why you got picked up and we're doing some professional level work on that. Uh, so Patrick and I did a couple short films together. Uh, he was attending Judson University outside of Chicago, and I was a professor there. And I actually went there years and years ago. I'm far older than Patrick is, but um, but no, we we hooked up and we did like a little dystopian short, and we did like a like a, it was kind of a sci-fi film, and then we did like a thriller on an old farm, and those were kind of fun. They were super low budget, uh, but very stylistic, and and Patrick got to kind of I think show his chops there. And that was impressive to me um, because, you know, it wasn't really outside of some food. And I think I gave you a gas step at one, one point. Cash, man. That was I, I think I gave you like 80 bucks one time. Yeah. Um, so he was a real trooper. I, all the stuff that I've done, and he can talk about this, was probably uncomfortable and physically uncomfortable. Physically uncomfortable, yeah. Um, you can talk about that a little bit. Oh, yeah. Physically, Matt, yeah. I, I know I'm in for a ride physically anytime. Uh, anytime I, uh, am cast in a Matt Billum project, um, cause I'm, uh, I'm, uh, more so in the past, but I was, I was so eager too that, um, you know, I was willing to do whatever. And, yeah. uh, but it actually like, I don't know, in a, in a way, you know, I kind of like enjoyed the grit of it though, in those films, like I was really cold and wet for, you know, the return. But I'm telling you, like, there's, there's just a, something so different about those shorts and us, it, you know, shooting those and, and me as a performer, like, I don't know, something happened in me. And, um, and, and I just, that, I just embraced the discomfort as much as I could, you know what I mean? Like the return was, yeah, that was super cold and, and wet and, um, but it was gritty and I really liked that. Um, Again, like, you know, I'm a little less <laughs> inclined to be as adventurous as that now. Yeah. But, um, and then the key, uh, the key gave me an excuse to smoke cigarettes because I don't smoke, but I was always like, yeah, it's not cool. Yeah. yeah. But so uh, <laughs> that was actually probably more harmful than the return because it tore up my lungs. 
Well, they, were, they were fake cigarettes though, right? They were, yeah, they were like herbal, I don't know. Herbal, herbal cigarettes, yeah. Yeah, it was something. Yeah, but, I mean, we I, I got it in my head that I wanted to do kind of a Blade Runner-esque, very low budget Blade Runner-esque fair, type yeah. feel. And so every every scene, I would say 90% of the scenes in this short film, you can see it on my YouTube channel, yeah. is in the rain. So I yeah. used, kind of made my own rain rig and like he was drenched the whole, and it was like 90 degrees, it was August or July, but... Uh, it was yeah, that, so, that makes no difference. It doesn't. No, like yeah. I had you, ju- you jumped in the river at one point. I mean, like it was, it was crazy. Yeah. And then the other one, it was torrential downpours, tornadoes nearby. It was like yes. degrees, super yes. humid, disgusting old farm. Everybody was covered in bird poop. It was like really, 